Hello everyone, I hope you're doing very well. It's April 2021 and Razbam are redeveloping the Mirage 2000 and changing a lot of stuff. At this point, three main things have been changed that I want to make you aware of. One, the fuel system and the fuel detotalizer. We've got a separate video on that because I just wanted to make a separate video. Next is the INS and the PCN panel usage, including INS alignment. And the third thing is VTH uh, or HUD symbology with regards to approach ILS synthetic runway. Those last two things we're going to show in this video as just a small update. By the sounds of their terminology on their update text, it's probably going to change again, but this will get you by for the next few months. Let's start with alignment. So from main menu, options, special, mirage. This has changed. You used to have a box to say the aircraft does not need aligning. That does not happen anymore. You either now have this box turned off and you have to do a full eight minute alignment or you can have this box turned on, ALCM, and you can do a faster alignment. We're going to do the default mode with this off and do the full eight minute or seven and a half minute alignment. Let's go and get in a cold started Mirage. We're not going to do a proper startup. I just want to get the plane as quickly as I can to the point where I can do a full alignment. So excuse me while I just get that done. Put the generator on. Okay, we are now ready for our alignment. This knob here can stay in N. This knob here to standby. That's all normal. Let's move to the PCN panel. We're going to cycle the selector to LG. That's lat long. Usually at this point, what you would do with the BUT or the waypoint defaulted to 00, zero is now type in the northing and the easting of where you are and then set it aligning. You can't do that anymore. So what we need to do now is select waypoint 20. So prep 20. It's now selected waypoint 20, which obviously is blanked out and, and zero because you know we haven't set it anywhere. We now need to set waypoint 20 for where we are now. Right shifting kilo, cycle page right, cycle page right. That's where we are now. Let's go and enter it in the old way, in the way that we did previously. We're going to go change left guy here. It's going to be northing. It's going to be two, five, one, five, two, nine six you can enter all these three digit minute it just won't show there but trust me it will work you can see up there uh northing 25 degrees 15 degrees decimal degrees uh, sorry decimal minutes you know what i'm trying to say two nine six that's going to edit this guy here uh edit the right set uh it's going to be easting and it is zero five five two one 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 six Again, it won't show it, but it's all there. Insert, and it's shown it there uh, and entered correctly. That's done. Next, we're going to go to the altitude, just like we would. It defaults to uh, 99,999,000 9, feet, which is no good. So let's change it to, in this case, 7 meters. So edit this guy here, which is in meters. We're going to go plus there, make it plus. Instead of typing 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0007 like we used to, we just type 7 now enter so the height is now plus 23 feet or plus seven meters that is our entry done now we just continue the alignment like we always did sts monitor there and align there check it's flashing align and it is validate and it's slightly changed the time it takes each quartet of alignment to uh, finish otherwise you're just watching this number here uh, and get it down to one like we always did, so off we go. You would normally carry on obviously setting up the plane, but we're not going to fly anywhere. Prep is now flashing. Quarter three, quarter two, quarter one, and zero. That is the alignment complete and successful. We now put him back to normal, and we put him to nav. That is the alignment done on the Mirage April 2021. It's probably going to change again, but this is how we do it at the moment.
Next, we're going to look at the overhaul to the ILS slash synthetic runway symbology. To be able to do a landing like this, you will need to set up a landing waypoint. You can do that in the plane, and that's probably realistically how you would do it. But just for simplicity, we're going to do it in the mission editor. Super easy. We're going to have our plane. We're going to have a bunch of waypoints represented by waypoint one, which is our you know our mission waypoints, and then we're going to have waypoint two, which is our landing waypoint. We're going to make it here landing and we're going to put it near the base it will snap to that base there and it will grab all the useful information it needs about that base runway heading runway altitude runway position and so on okay so that's the simplest way we can do this just for a quick tutorial we're in now we're currently selected to waypoint one which is no good we need to select the correct waypoint for the airport which is the landing waypoint uh, we can use our increments here or we can use the pcn so i'm going to go destination zero two we're now set up for waypoint two, which will bring all of the information about that airport, including approach information from that waypoint. Next, we need to set up the ILS because we're gonna need that as well. Quickly go Cobuleti. ILS for 07 is 111.50 megahertz. Let's just quickly bung that in. Boom, that's in. Next, we're gonna tell the machine that we want to do an approach. Approach, okay, this should all be set up now. I am going to unpause. I'm going to follow my director to the right. And when we're close enough, we're going to get some symbology come up, which will be nice. Yes. Oh, there we go. I'm not sure what the threshold is that you need to get within, but once we're within range, then the information is going to come up. What we've got here is this tracked line here. This is the localizer, obviously. We've got the virtual runway there. I know it's slightly off, but it'll be fine. We've got the ILS director box here. The, what we do, as in the real Mirage, is take our velocity vector there, keep it within that box at all times, and it essentially will just land itself. In terms of angle of attack slash speed, we want to travel at a speed that has this chevron here, and here be within these angle of attack boxes here and here. If we do all that, then the plane is essentially going to land itself. We could also use an autopilot and it will go and do it all itself, but we want to do it uh, with our own skill. There's one more thing I want to show, which is that if we press that there, press it, it will toggle symbology. So I'm pressing it now, and I'm just going to quickly show that's got rid of the ILS director box. It's got rid of the virtual runway. What it's added in is this dash and this dash. These are the Pente Desire. That is basically just a glide slope indicator, okay? I don't want that. I want the full uh, virtual runway and the uh, indicator uh, director box. So I'm going to press it again. Okay, so all we've got to go and do is land now. So let's follow the symbology. Velocity vector in box. I'm aware that we're going horrendously fast, but I just don't want this to take forever. Going to guide us in. Again, these are changes done recently to make it in line with the real version of the Mirage 2000. Look how the virtual runway is getting more accurate the closer I get. Why that is, I don't know. I'm going to go air brake out. I'm going to get those guys, my, you know, my accelerometer guys here within the correct angle of attack boxes. I don't know the symbology, it's so long. I don't know the correct terminology, it's so long since I studied this aircraft, but you know what they do, and that will be good enough. I'm not sure whether I'm supposed to land this plane with the air brakes in or out, but I'm going to land it with them. Deployed. Virtual runway is pretty accurate now. A little fast here. Let's get those gears out, shall we? Zap. Get the angle of attack up. Oh, mm. Struggling a bit here. Bit of a noob at this plane. There we go. Got the vertical velocity back in the box. I am way fast, but that's okay. Seat up command would be very useful at this point. And we'll have to flare ourselves because it's not going to flare for you. The symbology is not. Boom! And that's one landed Mirage. Now, that was uh, a completely hopelessly terrible landing, but it's showing you the new symbology and how we're supposed to use it. Welcome back. We just want to show it with the uh, autopilot. So we've set everything up as we did before. We're on the approach now. Sorry, one thing I've literally just learned while doing this is that you won't get symbology if you're too far off the slope. So you've got to be pointing roughly in the right direction on track and roughly at the right altitude so just something to bear in mind if you're struggling to get this symbology up within range and roughly uh, on, on the glide slope so i'm going to put our autopilot master on now and our approach on and watch the magics as i sit back and sip my cup of tea i'm 
We now have Jacques flying for us. You see he's keeping his uh, velocity vector wonderfully within the ILS director box. Much better than I could. He's going a bit fast for my liking, RC. Doesn't he do the throttle? Am I, do I do the throttle? And you need to take control before you land. So, am I doing the throttle? Yeah. You need oh, whoopsie. To there you go. A small miscommunication there, viewers. Let's not worry about that. Let's get this air brake out. Oh, why can't he do the throttle for me? What's the matter with him? No, there's no other throttle on this, is there? <laughs> nope. Oh. Apparently not. Yeah, deacceleration is good. And we need to do the final bit, he said. Is it just going yep. to turn itself off? Gear down. No, it will fly you into the ground. So you need to take control. Oh, I'm stalling. That's okay, Actually, Valley Viewers. It looks like it's already dis disconnected. That's so. okay. It's all in hand. It's just here to uh, give us a bit of a scare. Get down. There you go. Smooth as a... Oh! Nothing happened. Beautiful. Okay, Valley Doers. In all seriousness, that is an update to the approach and ILS symbology for the Mirage 2000. By the sound of Razbam's notation, it's probably going to change again. But we will update you when we know exactly what's going on.